Woo! Yeah! Woo! Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. That's very nice. Oh, man. That number. That number. Such a good number. 1,000 hours to count, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait. What? But the previous video said that I got myself 1,000 hours. But for some reason, that one... Steam? Steam? Don't you tease me like this. I just had my good hour celebration about my 1,000 hours. What's going on with the 999 hours? But thinking about it... That might not be too bad, actually. Okay, if we're going to talk a bit about yesterday, there was only sentry and... Uh, well, damage turret got a root power that could chip scan the entirety of the ship, and yeah, sentry turret, you know it. Congratulations to Renegade for beating me by that's about 31 seconds. Yeah, that's very nice, Renegade. Other folks managed to finish it in less than 10 minutes, so that's very nice too. Okay, no install ship upgrade for today. We got stealth, let's get upgrade for today with um, 300 for 2 HP in total. Rick and Matt gotta take a little bit hit to the face, but I'm going to use Brendan type of turn this time. Rick is a government A with unknown amount of infestation types, medium hurling degree, and volatile age. Remember, Musti, it's unknown amount. Do not repeat the mistake that you did just basically three days ago. It's gonna be very, very, very unfortunate of here if you happen to repeat that same mistake again. Alright. I'm just gonna do it right, uh, 135. Showtime. Huh, huh. Secondary generator, something. Sentry ship upgrade. All right. Oh hell, that's close. Hmm. How to kill that one? I wonder. This is meant to be an empty room, but for some reason I just feel like to activate my stealth. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, another one too. Hmm. You know what, I think I'm gonna refrain myself from using that uh, that roommate generator. And I'm just gonna wait what? Oh! My stealth just ran out! And for some reason that sentry didn't notice me! <laughs> what the heck? What just happened there? Yeah, I didn't notice anything. Oh my god, that cleft gone so badly. This cleft gone so badly either. Oh. Still wanna be 
the interface that I want to check. Okay, do not unstealth around this area. Definitely do not want it to. Oh man, what the heck was that? Alright. <laughs> oh, that could have gone very badly there. But hey, I guess I got lucky or something. In regards to... The rest though, not so much, apparently. I do ever need to check that interface. At least we are pretty much sure that... Uh, we don't have slime and swarm for today. Only two of, two of them that can be hopefully dealt with. Maybe. Oh, come on. You actually managed to come there when I was not looking. Alright then. Hecko, hecko, hecko! Okay, there should be no defense because there's no. Ship defense around here anyway, so yeah. Okay. Um Alright, it's gonna be a pretty complex kind of a maneuver bit. Alright. Managed to move him. Oh, heck, dude. I was expecting you to move already. Not now, unfortunately, because I gotta have to. Uh... Bail due to my stealth limited charge. Hmm. Alright, this is gonna be a bit of a silly. Oh, that's silly indeed. Alright, moving that leaper to the top place first before venting into hell. Then we will have a lot of things to discuss when it comes to radiating the sentries. I already think of the room to place the sentry at, which is room 7. And that's pretty much an ideal room to be... To be killing the mat, basically. All right. <sighs> yeah, I do not definitely want uh, this airlock to fail too.
It's not really shooting the effect things too much though. My sentries for some reason feels really slow. Or maybe it's just me. Actually, start to irradiate uh, all these things from room five instead of room ten, and then I will collect them in the same room that is in room five, and then I will have to make a do by partially irradiating room seven from room ten. It's kind of the plan. It's kind of the plan. Yeah, I'm gonna let you do it to go here a little bit there. And then you too as well to go a little bit here. Yeah, that's what I'm in. All right. Um, the issue is though, I'm not enti entirely sure if we will have. Uh, grab the close command at 10 minutes mark because that would suck actually. So after all these plans and all and that stuff. Uh, um hmm hmm it'll be very hilarious if all these plannings eventually just come to fail because I just don't really time things properly or something that would suck actually Yeah, you know what? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unite all the sentries into the same room that is probably room nine or something. But then I I don't think I will be I will be able to do that thing unless I can uh, place the sentry from room seven to room ten first, and then I'm gonna. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll rather to wait for the radiation to occur first. In case there will be a radiation in the before 12 minute mark or something. Okay, so, uh, I think I'm going to to go 34 instead of 13. Okay, good. Alright, this is a little bit of a tricky part. I want them to be in the same room, that is room 7. And I'm gonna talk about their timing. Okay, okay, that's pretty nice. I'll pay that one sentry is located uh, pretty much near to that room 7 there, unfortunately. But things might be able to be worked out from there. So, uh, what I'm planning to do now is that I'm going to place my bed into the radiation party on where it's going to occur. Because all my sentries are currently in room 7 and, well, Estimated second close second closest radiation leak occurs at eleven forty in drone view. And that's not gonna ha that's not happening anywhere. Eight, uh sorry, either way. Hmm. I wonder if I want to start to do this instead. It's gonna be fun. Well then, it's going to be the issue, then it is going to be an issue. The earlier the better, honestly. Alright, here's the bit of gamble there. Oh, 
Yeah, I think all my sentries are all up here. The issue is I cannot really use all these uh, interfaces due to them getting radiated uh, <laughs> by the radiation. <laughs> so I also didn't note at what time I ra irradiated the sentries too. Oh boy. Whoa, what the heck? Let's see if I miss anything else. <laughs> heck! Heck! I'm getting it! I'm getting him! Alright, that's too much of a damage there, mate. Oh no! That's 26 of damage for what? Five scraps. Twenty-six damage for four scrap, uh, five scraps rather. Seventy-four net gain. I could have done better, and Jurek did do it better. Congratulations, along with Renegade and Dargard as well, of course. Congrats, y'all.